Welcome back for our 12th episode of Collections Story Through Objects. I'm Jesse Kramer, the director of exhibits here at Connor Prairie. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about artist Jacob Cox, our portraits of William and Elizabeth Connor. Um, another portrait that Cox uh, produced over here that we'll talk about a little bit later. And then also a portrait of Richard Connor, uh, the son of William and Elizabeth Connor. We know that we, these portraits were painted uh, sometime after 1855 uh, for, for two obvious reasons. One, uh, Connor had passed already and the portrait was done off of the daguerreotype from Elizabeth. Uh, but we also believe uh, that these paintings were probably done quite some time after 1855, just based on the uh, the age difference that they had in life versus the age difference that you see in these portraits here. Uh, as you can see, they look to be the same age when in fact uh, they were quite a few years apart. The age difference between the two was roughly 25 years. Uh, William was born in 1777 and Elizabeth was born in 1802. So Elizabeth Connor was much, much younger than William when they were married and this portrait would have been done uh, likely several years after his passing. Jacob Cox was a prominent portrait artist in Indianapolis and throughout the state of Indiana during his time. Uh, at the age of 31, he decided that he wanted to pursue a career in art and portraiture. He did this by placing a card in uh, the Indiana State Sentinel. Um, when he did this, he, he started to garner quite a few portrait commissions, um, the Connors being among them. Uh, he, he also painted a portrait of Richard Connor, the son of William and Elizabeth Connor, and that was donated to our collection by Henry Loffmiller in 1982. Quite a bit of restoration was done to both of these portraits uh, by the Indianapolis Museum of Art um, in the late 20th century. Uh, this was done uh, in a way that would uh, help support the frames, uh, the frame of the canvas. The, the varnish was quite yellowed, so they, they went through some conservation work with that as well. We've been able to, uh, to help secure them for future generations through this restoration, through this conservation. The canvas frames uh, were created by 19th century uh, canvas makers, Reynolds, DeVoe, and Pratt. Uh, we would show you the mark that's on the back of uh, these canvases, but unfortunately, uh, some of the, the restoration work that we've had done to these, we have protective materials on the backs of these pieces. So uh, we can show you what that stamp looks like though. These portraits are not the ones that we had originally uh, here on site. In fact, Eli Lilly tried to purchase these uh, from one of, the, one of the folks in the Connor family and they weren't ready to, uh, to allow Connor Prairie to accession them in yet. So uh, Lilly in 1935 contacted an artist, a local artist named Marie Goff. Uh, and he and Marie did quite a bit of correspondence back and forth and with, uh, with Lilly's help, she was able to gain access to the portraits in, uh, in the Connor home where she was able to uh, study them in great detail, take several photographs, take notes on colors, etc. Uh, at which point uh, she agreed to do the commission for Lily and she created two replica portraits for him. These portraits, interestingly enough, made their way back into the Connor family uh, when Lily finally was able to secure the two originals. Uh, he donated them to uh, Connor Prairie in 1969. The replica portraits were given to uh, Mrs. Catherine Connor Hote. The William Connor portrait, uh, as I said earlier, uh, was painted after his death uh, posthumously, and this was done off of a daguerreotype that belonged to Elizabeth Connor. It was the piece that was used to create the portrait of, of Connor, and it was donated to us by Mrs. John Goldthwaite in 1988 and we are very happy to have it in our collection as it is the only uh, portrait that we have of Connor outside of this portrait here. Lily, uh, when he commissioned Goff to do the replica portraits, uh, commissioned for a price of $500 each back in 1935, so uh, that's quite a sum of money for that time period, and uh, I'm sure he was very excited, uh, as you, you can see in some of the correspondence and letters with, uh, with Lily and Goff, that uh, he, was, he was very excited that she took on the commission and was quite pleased with the results. Uh, there, there are a number of correspondence back and forth with them uh, where, where he is working out this deal and is quite pleased to tell her that they are hanging in the Connor home. 
Jacob Cox was quite fond of landscape paintings. Uh, we have a number of his works in our collection beyond the ones that are being featured here in this video. Uh, but we did pull one special landscape painting uh, where, where there is a group of people um, basically carrying hay across a field. Um, that was his real passion, was, was painting these, these, uh, these portraits of landscapes rather than people, but he is most prominently known for uh, his portraits of prominent folks in Indianapolis. If we want to talk a little bit more about uh, Marie Goff, uh, during the time that she was commissioned by Lily uh, to do these pieces, uh, she actually apologizes to him in one of the correspondents saying that uh, she's really sorry that it took so long to get back to him, but she was doing a woman show at the Heron Art School. Uh, so she herself was pretty known in Indianapolis at the time and was quite a talented painter. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this uh, 12th installment of Collections Story Through Objects. Uh, we are always thrilled to be able to show uh, some of the, the secret treasures that we have in our vault. Um, so please stay tuned for more exciting things uh, coming out of this space. We have lots and lots more to share with you.